the first time you know Tom discovers me in this film was a really great moment. It's kind of like the first day I worked, so it was one of those. Everybody on set was waiting. Oh my God, Nick Fury's coming to work today. It's like, and then I'm sitting there, and then he shows up, and he's having that same kind of, uh, and I'm having the same thing with. Oh my God, I'm working with Spider Man today, which always shocks people that I feel that way. It's like. I'm finally going to do some, get to work with Spider-Man today. So I have those moments. So I like that. My introduction and, you know, how we met in that dark room. He has serious doubts about Peter. Um, number one, you know, Peter's still a kid. And he wasn't around when he was in Civil War and doing all that stuff. And he knows, even though, you know, Tony Stark chose him he still has to be vetted by himself because he always had issues with Stark <laughs> anyway. Um, so why Stark chose him, he's still trying to figure that that particular part of it out. Um, the fact that Stark chose him uh, makes him push Peter harder because he understands that, you know, Stark had some, some expectation or saw something in him that he's trying to find that he hadn't talked to Stark about but he knows he's there and he knows he has this and he knows Stark gave him a gift and he, is he worthy of that particular gift? Uh, and he's sort of feeling Peter out or testing him uh, in various ways. I'm always chuffed watching, watching Tom work. I mean, he has such a great level of energy and um, he has a knowledge of this character and he brings something that, you know, Spider-Man really needs, that youthful exuberance that um, you know, a lot of us you know, have been around for a while. We're kind of jaded. Uh, he's not. <laughs> he's, he's enthusiastic. We love that. I love that about him. He kind of understands he's not particularly ready for it, um, but he also needs to figure out or find out that it's not his choice anymore, that he has something that, you know, dictates that he becomes something more that he has to accept. And he can't hide in the shadows. He can't just be your, you know, typical neighborhood Spider-Man anymore. He belongs to a greater story. He'll do something and he'll laugh and he'll come out of there laughing hysterically and go, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. We can make it even better. You know, so I worry about that sometimes, but, you know, he kind of has his finger on the pulse of what this teenage thing is. Um, so he and Tom had this great relationship and he has a great relationship with the material. Uh, and he fits in that Marvel mold of. If you follow the playbook to do the superhero stuff, just give us the things we need that are the real human things that are going to make people, you know, relatable and relate to what's happening on screen. And I think he has his, you know, he has that down pat. He's very studied and he works on what he wants to do and how he wants to do it. So when he shows up, he has a plan. Uh, and that's always good because it gives you something to play off of.